Welcome to our Sports Briefing Show, where we dive into the world of sports and bring you the latest and most exciting updates. Today, we've got a mix of baseball, triathlon, and football stories, plus a little basketball news that's sure to pique your interest. So, let's get into it. First up, ESPN has just dropped a list that's got all the baseball fans buzzing, the top 50 people who will impact the 2024 MLB season. From players to umpires, this list has got everyone who's anyone in the world of baseball. Although they admit the ranking is a bit imperfect, it's a great sneak peek into who will be the movers and shakers in the upcoming season. Meanwhile, over in the triathlon world, Hong Kong's national team coach, Andrew Wright, is feeling pretty confident about his squad bagging some medals at the national games next year. With a strong performance at the World Triathlon Cup race under their belt, it looks like they're on track to make a splash. Switching gears to football, France managed to clinch a victory against Chile in a thrilling 3-2 international friendly match. Olivier Giroud, not one to be left behind, extended his goal-scoring record, giving the French team a nice boost of confidence as they gear up for their Euro 2020 campaign. And in basketball news, the legendary Lauren Jackson is making a comeback, aiming for a spot in Australia's squad for the Paris Olympics. Despite retiring twice, it seems the allure of the game and the Olympic spirit is too strong to resist for this three-time WNBA MVP. There you have it, folks. A quick roundup of some of the most exciting sports news making the rounds today. From baseball rankings to Olympic comebacks, the world of sports never fails to keep us on the edge of our seats. Stay tuned for more in-depth analysis and updates on these stories. Please continue watching for detailed content. The top 50 people who will impact the 2024 MLB season, numbers 50 to 26. Yahoo! ESPN has published an article ranking the top 50 people who will influence the 2024 Major League Baseball MLB, season. The list includes players, managers, executives and other individuals connected to the sport, and provides an insight into the key figures likely to shape the upcoming season. The ranking is subjective and the ordering is described as imperfect, but the article aims to highlight the people who will have a significant impact on the sport in 2024. The list includes players, managers, executives, umpires, and others connected to the sport. The ranking is subjective and the ordering is described as imperfect, but the article aims to highlight the people who will have a significant impact on the sport in 2024. Hong Kong triathlon coach Wright expects medals from his squad at national games. South China Morning Post Hong Kong's national triathlon team is expected to perform well at next year's national games after a strong showing at the World Triathlon Cup race. Head coach Andrew Wright praised the team's depth and improvement, and believes that with a fully fit squad, they will have a good chance of winning medals at the national games. The team will next compete in the Asian Sprint Championships and a Continental Championship in April. Giroud extends goal-scoring record as France see off Chile. RFI. France defeated Chile 3-2 in an international friendly match on March 29. Marcelino Nunez opened the scoring for Chile in the sixth minute, but France equalized through Yusuf Fofana in the 19th minute. Randall Colomwani then gave France the lead in the 25th minute, before Olivier Giroud extended the advantage in the 73rd minute. Dario Osorio pulled one back for Chile in the 75th minute, but France held on for the win. The victory will provide some confidence for France ahead of their Euro 2020 campaign, which begins in June. Lauren Jackson comes of retirement again in a bid to play for Australia at the Olympics. The Toronto Star. Basketball star Lauren Jackson, a three-time WNBA MVP, has come out of retirement once again in order to compete at a fifth Olympics. The 42-year-old has been included in Australia's 26-player squad and is expected to make the final 12 for the Opals at the Paris Olympics. Jackson retired for the second time in February but has agreed with the Basketball Federation to cover the costs for her two young sons to travel with her for training camps and the Olympics. The Opals missed out on the medal rounds at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. Jackson, who won four consecutive Olympic medals starting in 2000, is part of a squad that includes 11 members of the team that took bronze at the World Cup in 2022. Retired a great Lauren Jackson included an Opals Olympic squad. ABC Basketball player Lauren Jackson has been included in the extended Opal squad for the Paris Olympics, despite announcing her retirement from international play. The 42-year-old Jackson, who is considered one of Australia's greatest ever basketball players, retired from the Opals in February after the team qualified for the Games. However, she has now been named in the 26-player squad that will participate in training camps, tours, and fixtures leading up to the Olympics. The final 12-player team will be chosen from the extended squad. Jackson has won four Olympic medals, including three silver medals. Ronna Dive reveals he, Fisher spoke about A's playing in Sacramento. 
Yahoo! Sacramento Kings owner Vivek Ranadive has said he believes the Athletics' A's baseball team could relocate to the city after their Coliseum lease expires in 2024. Ranadive said he has discussed the idea with A's owner John Fisher and MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred. If the move goes ahead, Ranadive believes Sacramento could get an expansion team, helping to establish it as a sports city. The A's are also in talks with Oakland to remain at the Coliseum until the end of the 2027 season. Adam Silver, NBA dealing with serious consequences from fast-changing landscape. Yahoo! Raptors forward John Tay Porter is reportedly being investigated by the NBA for issues related to his performances parallel to gambling. This is not the first time the NBA has had to deal with gambling issues, and the league has to find a way to balance the financial benefits of gambling with the safety of its employees. Commissioner Adam Silver has made many changes in the past few years to both grow the game and maximize revenue. However, he has to be cautious not to let things get out of hand. The NBA is at a turning point and Silver has to find a way to keep up with the changing landscape of professional sports while keeping the league's identity. The NBA has already made a few changes, such as the play-in tournament and in-season tournament. Silver also needs to find a way to bring back the importance of the All-Star game, as it is the league's second biggest moneymaker after the playoffs. The Warriors coach Kerr gives passionate NSFW rant about NBA foul calls. Yahoo! Golden State Warriors coach Steve Kerr has become known for his strong comments about officiating, and following a defeat to the Indiana Pacers on Friday, Kerr lashed out at NBA referees. He called for a happy medium to be found between the current state of officiating and the one he believes fans want. The players have never been more skilled shooting the ball, dribbling the ball. Incredible amount of talent in the league. We want that talent to shine, Kerr said. NFL free agency, Tradavius White signing with Rams and more news, updates. Yahoo! NFL free agency is in full swing and Yahoo Sports has provided a live blog with updates on all the latest moves. The blog includes information on which players are still available, the NFL salary cap for the season, and a look at each team's cap situation and needs. Some of the top free agents still available include Ryan Tannehill, Tyler Boyd, Logan Thomas, Calais Campbell, Jade Vian Clowney, Xavier Howard, and Justin Simmons. The blog also includes updates on recent signings, including Ljeria Sneed who is reportedly signing a four-year, $76.4 million contract with the Titans, and Tredavious White who is signing a one-year deal with the Rams. Other signings include Michael Gallup meeting with the Ravens, the Vikings signing Edge Jihad Ward and agreeing to terms with LB Camu Grugier Hill, and the Browns signing former Bears RB Dante Foreman. The blog is constantly updated with the latest news on free agency moves. Jeff Lurie, very optimistic, Isaiah Rogers will be cleared soon after year-long suspension. Yahoo! Jeff Lurie said he's, very optimistic, the NFL will clear cornerback Isaiah Rogers to return to the NFL very soon following his year-long suspension for violating the league's gambling policy. The Colts released Rogers last summer immediately after the league suspended him. The Eagles signed him just before the regular season opened, even though they knew he wouldn't be allowed to play the entire 2023 season and wasn't even allowed in the Novacare complex. Shohei Otani's interpreter scandal proves sports gambling problem has a simple solution. The Globe and Mail. The NBA is investigating Toronto Raptors player John Tay Porter after odd betting patterns emerged surrounding his performance in some NBA games, according to ESPN. Sports betting firms noted unusually large bets being made on prop bets on points scored and three-pointers scored in games Porter was playing in. A spokesperson for the NBA said that a thorough investigation would be carried out. Prop bets are bets on the performance of individual players in a game, rather than the overall result. Sports betting has grown rapidly since the U.S. Supreme Court paved the way for legal sports betting last year. The NBA and its teams have embraced the sports betting industry, and many have signed sponsorship deals with sportsbooks. The NBA has also introduced a new policy governing the use of data and statistics in play and has made a commitment to share anonymized data with sportsbooks. Golden State Franchise hires Kimberly Veal as VP of Marketing and Communications. Associated Press. The Golden State Warriors have hired Kimberly Veal as the Senior Vice President of Marketing and Communications for their new WNBA franchise, which is set to begin play in 2025. Veal, who spent seven years in the WNBA with the Seattle Storm and Chicago Sky, has been with the Warriors for the last six years. In her new role, Veal will be responsible for the marketing, social media, merchandise, and public relations for the franchise. The team, which has not yet announced its name, will play home games at the Chase Center and be headquartered in Oakland. Brazil draw six-goal thriller with Spain as Endrick, Yamal Dazzle. Yahoo!
Brazil snatched a late leveler to share an entertaining and occasionally heated 3-3 friendly draw with Spain on Tuesday as youngsters La Mal and Endrick dazzled, Lucas Piqueta fired home a stoppage time penalty to deny La Roja victory at the Santiago Bernabeu, after the hosts had taken a late lead. Los Angeles considers reparations for families forced off land where Dodger Stadium stands. Yahoo! Assemblywoman Wendy Carrillo of Los Angeles on Friday introduced the Chavez Ravine Accountability Act, offering a path toward historical accountability, reparative measures, and a permanent memorial, according to her office. Get your first look at 49ers' unique 2024 NFL draft hat. Yahoo! The San Francisco 49ers have revealed the design for their official 2024 NFL draft hat. The hat features the iconic 49ers logo in an onyx silver color scheme with gold and red trim. There is also a variant of the hat with the traditional red logo and coloring. The side of the hat features a patch of the state of California with a red prospector's pickaxe in the center, with the word faithful written below, a reference to the team's fan base. The color scheme is a fresh spin on classic designs and pays homage to the team's original uniform. The article also mentions that the 49ers are expected to select an offensive lineman with their number 31 pick in the draft. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.